Dear ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to say a few words about whether Putin's Russia can be considered fascist or not. In my humble opinion, it's not fascist. Why so? Because, again, in my humble opinion, it's way worse. How comes, you may ask? I will try to explain it as a historian and political scientist. Well, of course, Putin's Russia has very much in common with a fascist society. First and foremost, it's a dictatorship. Second, it doesn't have any basic human rights and freedoms. First and foremost, it doesn't have freedom of speech. By the way, not only fascist societies are lacking freedom of speech. For example, we also don't have freedom of speech here, but that's another topic. What else? Uh, fascism is usually aggressive against its neighbors. Just like a typical fascist society, Putin's Russia has been attacking its neighbors starting with 1991. starting with the fall of the Soviet Union and starting with the so-called pseudo-democratic government of Yeltsin that later transformed itself into the regime of Vladimir Putin. In that sense, it has a lot in common. Now, what is different? By the way, one more thing. Just like the armies of the fascist countries in the past, Russian army has been committing atrocities, and not only in Ukraine these days, but also in Georgia in 1992-1993, then later in Chechnya, then in Ukraine in 2014, and nowadays in Ukraine as well. So that was definitely in common with fascism. Now what is different? First and foremost, fascism is a left-wing ideology. Russian regime of Vladimir Putin is not left-wing one, definitely not. Then turning to the atrocities. Nazis and fascists were usually committing atrocities towards those nations and peoples whom they considered subhumans. Those who were considered equal to themselves, or semi-equal to themselves, those were treated by the fascists and Nazis more or less decently. Also, getting back to the atrocities again, yes, the Nazis and fascists were committing atrocities, however, they were never deliberately bombing hospitals. And they were never planting land bombs at the cemeteries at the eve of Christian festivals. And that's what Russian army and Russian saboteurs were doing in Ukraine. According to the police of Kiev, recently Russian saboteurs planted landmines at a few cemeteries in Kiev so that during Orthodox Easter, those people who would come to the cemetery to remember their relatives would have been blown up. The Nazis were never doing that. And again, we know that Russian army is deliberately bombing and shelling hospitals. The Nazis were not doing that either. But all the above is not the major difference between Putin's Russia, between Russism and fascism. The major difference is that both Italian fascists, German Nazis, etc., etc., were very bad and cruel to the other nations, again, to those whom they considered subhumans. However, they were taking certain care about their own. In fascist, in Nazi countries, there were hospitals, athletic arenas, and good housing for the working class people built. By the way, those houses that, for example, were built for German workers during the Third Reich period are still there, and those are very good houses. Nothing like that has been even planned in Putin's Russia. Putin and his entourage treat Russians and other peoples of Russia worse than dirt. They are worse than animals. They can use them, they can sell their organs, they can sell their kids for hard currency, 
they can do all sorts of nasty things to them, and that's the major difference. The worst part of it is that the majority of Russians do not seem to have anything against it. Anyway, that's the reason why I consider racism well worse than fascism. Maybe I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. That's all I wanted to say today. Have a lovely evening and all the best. Bye-bye.